Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode five of Electric, the Ellsworth Audiogram Capsule Series, where we're talking about some of the latest innovative products in battery manufacturing, including batteries for the electric vehicle market. We've teamed up with one of our key suppliers, HB Fuller, and today I'm speaking with business development manager, Anna Epley. In this episode, we'll be diving deep into the topic of bonding, so all about structural adhesives. In previous episodes, we've covered foam encapsulants, battery pack gasket sealants, and thermal management. Make sure to go back and listen to all of those as well. Hi, Anna. Thanks for being here again. Thanks, Nina. I'm excited to be here and to talk about the final pillar in our battery portfolio today. Bonding, one of our very favorite topics here at Ellsworth. Can you tell us where this comes in when we're talking battery manufacturing? Bonding is a critical aspect of making a safe pack. Adhesives can be used in several different areas based on which application the customer is targeting. To name a few, adhesives can be used to provide structural support, secure various components within the pack, and even form the walls of the module. Great information. Thank you. What attributes do you find are typically most crucial for your customers in this space? When talking with our customers, we focus on what specific substrates that they're using and then which adhesive will provide the best structural strength, as well as the adhesive's performance under various conditions such as high or low temperatures or exposure to certain chemicals. Okay, so you have a few different chemistries available. Can you explain what they are? Yeah, we do. We have epoxies, urethanes, MMAs, and reactive hot melts for the bonding space. All of these chemistries are known to have high structural strength and excellent durability. And we have hot melts that can be used for semi-structural support and as a processing aid as well. Why would someone select one of these over another? Can you describe the main benefits? There could be several reasons that are specific to each customer's application, but in general, mainly epoxies are used in areas where high chemical and heat resistance is required. MMAs have excellent bonding capabilities to metals and have a wide range of working times available. Polyurethanes are great when some elongation is needed and also good for bonding dissimilar or low surface energy substrates. And then lastly, reactive hot melts are unique in that they provide an immediate green strength for fast processing and then develop a permanent bond over time through a secondary cure mechanism. Are these different from standard adhesives used for bonding in other applications? You know, in general, these chemistries are very typical for all bonding applications, but we do have a few flame retardant options that are very desirable in the battery space. Yeah, so important for this industry. As always, I'm sure our customers will need these to be tested. How could someone go about doing that? All of our products are available in cartridge form to be sampled directly to the customers. I would suggest getting a hold of your local Ellsworth adhesive partner, discussing the application, and then we can work together to arrange for the appropriate samples to be sent in. Yes, we'll be happy to help with that. Thanks so much, Anna. And thanks, everyone, for joining our final episode, number five of our Electric Audiogram series. We hope that by tuning into the series that you discovered some new ways to improve your battery manufacturing production line. And a big thank you to Anna and all of HB Fuller for sharing their innovative products. To learn more, get samples, and find out how we can help, please contact your local Ellsworth representative.